Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids. Uh, and today I'm joined by the the offer master himself, the shop guru, Smiley TK. Smiley, how are you, dude? I'm doing great. How's it going? I'm it, glad to be on your channel. Yes, uh, you guys. Uh, basically, what we're doing today, I, I played you all for a fool. I played you all for a fool because I put up this poll a couple of days ago, uh, which was really interesting. Actually, we were talking about this before we we were recording here this morning. Uh, or this afternoon, actually, it's 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 six p.m. in 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 the evening for me. I don't know why I said this morning, <laughs> but how much do you spend on spend on raid per month? And um, what I want to do is pick Smiley's brain a little bit. Um, you can find him on on Discord, YouTube, Twitch as well, right? Like you're just everywhere. Um, but he's, I think, probably famous, infamous, famous on on at least my Discord channel because we got that the offers tab. I actually got a comment like yesterday, being like. God bless this offers tab. It's the best thing ever <laughs> where Smiley breaks down like the stuff in the shop. Is it good? Is it bad for people that do want to spend? But yeah, looking at this, you know, zero uh, in terms of people that are completely free to play from my viewership. We had 6,000 votes for this. 52% people free to play. We had 22% spending up to about 20 euro or dollars per month. 50, uh, sorry, 10% spending up to 50. 6% actually a drop there spending between 50 and 100. And then 9% spending over 100 per month. Just just in terms of this, before we dive into recommendations and stuff, Smiley, like, was there anything about this particular uh, breakdown that was, like, surprising to you? Or was it as you expected? Like, what did you think about this? I I was shocked <laughs> by the amount of free-to-plays mm. yeah, based off of that zero that I see there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 52% is a... And it's not a sam small sample size either. Like, 6,000 votes is a lot of votes. That's a big sample size. Yeah. Of course, I'm sure it would vary definitely between like different types of channels and, and, and the different viewers. And I suppose it's always difficult to, to tell like people that are watching YouTube compared to the entire audience of players of the game or like a very specific sample size as well. But yeah, still, it's really interesting. Uh, one thing I'm always suspicious, uh, I've got that suspicion you could have someone in there that's like, oh, well, you know, I buy a pack at Christmas, I buy a pack at Black Friday, but it doesn't really count. Like per month, I'm really at zero, you know? I, I say there's a few of those in there, but uh, yeah, <laughs> still. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so what I was thinking then, based off of like these were the, uh, I was kind of curious if there would be a fairly even split. I was definitely surprised as well by this one. Can I just say that before you move on? 50 to 100. I was really surprised that there's this weird dip there uh, where it falls off, but then for 100 plus, it actually goes back up again. Like I, I was kind of thinking it would just decrease linearly pretty much with you know every single step going down. I think that's kind of interesting. Do you have any theories about why that might be? <laughs> it's putting you on the spot. Uh, <laughs> I, I have no clue. Like, yeah. I, I have no idea. It's just, it's, I, I figured there'd be a lot more spenders when it came to this particular game, but mm. it's kind of, it, I, I, I'm still really uh, shocked by the amount of free to play. I mean, if it's <laughs> yeah. true, the if amount of true. free to play there is, but um, mm. Yeah, this is this is a really really nice graph or a nice poll you put up, and I'm really curious on what it'll be if I put it up on my channel. Yeah, to see what kind of uh, you know response <laughs> that I get from there. But yeah, I, I just um, it's really interesting though to see. Mm. What I was wondering was, I wonder if it's like because obviously the pack offers get more expensive the more that you spend. I was like, I wonder if it's tailored such that it's actually difficult to spend like fifty to one hundred per month. That like the offers just they increase at that point and it's like it, it's just really easy to spend over that i don't know anyway let's dive in what i want to then pick your brains on is this so i said for a typical person then that's coming into the game and we can imagine like different stages of playing the game as well if you're spending let's say let's take some of those sort of popular breakpoints we put up there 20 euro a month 50 euro a month or dollars whatever whatever currency you like so the euro and the us dollar are like i think the us dollar is worth more now i'm very upset uh, or 100 a month <laughs> either um <laughs> uh like what sort of packs would you recommend like if that is your monthly budget let's say i'm going in let's start off at 20 i'm going in i'm a player let's say i'm i'm a year into the game i'm spending 20 euro a month on the game what should I spend 20 euro a month on? What is the smartest choice with that money? What do you think? So the 20 dollars a month is a pretty easy one for me. Okay. If you go into your, your shop right now. Yeah. So there is a 
particular pack offer well we'll, you know we'll start with the daily progression first okay so there is a daily gem pack offer there that is ten dollars and that offers yeah go ahead i i bought it i bought it look at this he caught me (laughs) caught (laughs) caught red-handed caught red-handed yeah the the gems are in my hands oh no yeah and they're not mine they were resting in my accounts uh no go ahead sorry (laughs) it's okay (laughs) <laughs> yeah um so this this offer is 2100 for so it's 2140 gems for ten dollars hmm. and when it comes to value it that nothing beats its value because it's, it's it's so good there's there's so many i guess if i do the quick math for you guys real quick hmm. 2005 okay so that is 6955 energy for ten dollars now there are certain packs out there that we see for forty dollars that is pretty regular it comes out with multi battle suit and i believe that one is also about seven thousand energy but that one's for forty dollars so wow. if you're doing if you're doing comparison like that it's yeah. it's quite significant right but when it comes to value this is it just doesn't get better than this and you could look at it from a different standpoint even 2140 gems will net you about at least at least uh 22 23 ancient shards for ten dollars which yeah. is an incredible offer, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, once you go to the big shark pack and buy it. But <laughs> that is definitely the the first thing I would tell someone that wants to spend even ten dollars a month. That is the only that is that is what I would spend it on. There's nothing else better than that. Yeah. But since we're doing the twenty dollars now, this Ooh. is where we get to something a little more interesting. Yeah, yeah. I'm curious. So <laughs> now there are some exclusive pack offers that appear uh, mm-hmm. in the shop if you are. Well, you guys know if you spend more money, uh-huh. then the the quantity that comes in the pack and then the the price of the pack is gonna scale up. But there's a certain pack offer called the Word Circles pack that appears. If you haven't spent for twenty five to thirty days at least, then that mm-hmm. pack offer will appear for you. But as soon as you spend money, as soon as you buy that pack, you're not gonna see it for a long time. So that is usually about ten dollars. <laughs> Sometimes it even goes to fifteen dollars. Mm-hmm. But there are there's like ten or up to maybe like more than that uh, there's different versions of the warrior circles tech, a pack that appears but the ones that are the best bang for buck are definitely going to be in my opinion i think it's the one that comes with uh it's 900 gems and 10 ancient shards i believe or something like that it has it's, both it's of those incre- in it oh wow yeah it's incredible value it's it's something mm. along those lines but that's definitely yeah. <clears throat> it's it's even com- it's even comparable to the daily gem pack if you think about it in that mm-hmm. aspect right yeah but that's definitely the best bang for buck have you seen that one I, I'll be on, yeah. So I haven't seen it in quite a while. I'll be honest, uh, but no, like I, I for a long time I didn't spend any money at all. So yeah, I would have seen it. And that's one thing to note as well for people that it's like it circles around. So there's I don't know exactly how many, maybe five or six different offers it can be, and it it will rotate through them. So like unless you're in a big rush to spend money, like you can just wait for for the one that you want. Right, you can wait for that best one. It will come around within a few days. Uh, and yeah, like you said, they're really good value. That's cool. I'd forgotten about the. I'd totally forgotten about this pack, but you're dead right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. What do, can I throw this in there? Because what I was thinking was um, Forge Pass. What do you think about the Forge Pass? Do you think it would be worthwhile if if your budget is this small as something to consider, like every every second or third month, or are you like, nah, don't bother this oh. better? Hmm. You 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 put me in a spot right now. I have wow. I have I can fill for time if you need to. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let, okay let let me let me think of it this way then. Yeah. Well, this is based off a of monthly budget, right? Twenty dollars yes. a month, and the yes. the force pass is not going to appear every single month. It's going to appear what like once every three four months or something like that. I think it I think it's more frequent. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Yeah. I think it's more it's not quite often though it's not it's not every month no that's exactly what i'm thinking because i think it's mm-hmm. it's 20 dollars, isn't it for the forge pass i think for the small version the premium yeah yeah so like it, it, you could in theory you know be pr- be a prudent saver put that extra ten dollars into the bank collect big interest on it no doubt and then uh pick up the forge pass like every let's say every three months you could pick it up and maybe even have a tiny bit to spare but is it worth it though for someone that is this low spend, what do you think? I, I'm leaning towards yes, but I'm curious what I, you would think. I, I, I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I, mm. I believe the Force Pass is, is it 19.99 or is it $10? Oh, actually, 
I've forgotten, <laughs> to be honest. I, I forgot. I feel like it's I feel like it's twenty, but I could be. I wrong. think it is twenty. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at the infograph right now. Because, I believe it's twenty. Because I, I feel like when I started buying it, I was like, oh wow, like compared to spending just ten on a daily gem pack in the month, when you add an extra twenty on, you jump up to like thirty that month. Which you know, it's not much money really, but proportionate, it's quite a big jump, I think. Um, wow. <laughs> so. <laughs> If we're, if, so we're basically weighing the we're force pass against the daily gem pack and where it circles back. Okay, so straight up, well, they're, they're I, will, I, will, I will emphasize and say the daily gem pack is the best bang for value like in the game period. Hmm. And it's even going to be better than the force pass if I had to pick one between the other. But yeah. it's going to really come down to what are you really focused on? Because the force pass comes with bliss. It comes with um, set materials that you can craft for the bolster set, right? Which is... I mean, right now it's going to rotate to a different set probably, but the sets recently yeah. came out with the Instinct set actually got buffed, which is pretty incredible for early to mid game players in general. Yes, it did. This is the new set, by the way. It's Defiant. It's a two piece, 10% defense, minus 15% from. Oh, AOE. yeah. I forgot about that actually. Yeah, which is, it looks really that. good. I think it's probably the best one so far. It seems really good. Um, yeah. The, the, wow. thing, the thing that stood out to me about them actually going back and buffing Instinct, like, my feeling is it's like they want people to buy this this pass that they're trying to you know instinct was received fairly poorly i feel like they're like yeah. okay we got to buff it up like we want people to want these sets and to buy this make pass. It more enticing yeah mm -hmm. make it more enticing mm -hmm. it's yeah good. the bolster set is actually still really really incredible it's yeah. it's definitely the best forge pass set so far mm -hmm. but i think maybe what you could consider is just Go for the daily gem packs and the war circles pack on the monthly basis if your budget is twenty dollars. Yeah, and then on the force pass when it actually does release, then you could consider your options and see: Do I want to go for this particular set and the glyphs and everything else that comes along with the ores as well, hmm. and the avatar, which is kind of you know that's a nice uh, thing to add to your collection. <laughs> yeah, but or you can you can you can basically just say okay, instead of gems, instead of the shards that I could potentially get from my energy, I'm gonna go for something that's more concrete because we never really know what we're gonna get from the um you know what maybe that's not a good way to say it because as when you forge the set or the, the craft set that's also uh, rng based so maybe that's not the best example but it's it's a lot of resources that could be used towards helping you in particular area you, uh in the game you are at right yeah. as far as your progression so mm -hmm. you're really gonna have to weigh the options yourself to see what you want to go for but i i i wouldn't um be against someone going for the forge pass instead of the gem pack and the uh the wall the warrior circles pack for that month alone when this mm. comes out because i think it's you know i can i can see why you would want to go for the force pass because it is quite decent yeah yeah it's interesting like you definitely at this budget like there's no way you could buy it i think you'd be really stretched to buy it every single time you'd be giving up a lot there but um you could maybe do it like just get it once every time so you get a few bits of of the new set and, and some of that stuff it could be worthwhile mm -hmm. that like that's the one thing as well that's also can be of value too is that you know although the gem pack is it's better value it is stuff that you get in the game anyway whereas you know getting for example a set of defiant gear unless you buy that forge pass you're going to get a couple of pieces from the free version but you're basically not going to get it and there's no other way to get it at least as of now so that's something that can be worth considering as well you know like shards it's always a gamble the Forge Pass yeah. is a gamble too, but it's like the only way to get that particular gamble. They're yes. they're cheeky, but so it's kind of a it's a it's definitely a bit of a question mark. It is an option, yeah. but like this is this is definitely these are the safe bet. They are obviously extremely good value. These are the things to try to get you into spending, right? So they're really really good. Yeah, interesting. One thing one thing, one thing I do want to add as well is the I mean you you brought up a great point as far as the Forge Pass. Um, hmm. It's it's a very exclusive thing as far as the set goes. Like once it's gone, like who knows when we're gonna see instinct or bolster set again. They might just do if it's the same trajectory and the same pattern that they're going, it's gonna be two uh seasons of the certain force pass, and then yeah. they're going to go through a new set and just go on uh, so off so on and so forth. But and one thing that we did see that could happen for future sets is they actually buffed a previous set, which was the instinct. So who's mm. to say that the defiance that couldn't be, can be buffed in the future or something else along the li lines that it could be buffed in the future as well. So that's something else to keep in mind. Yeah. Yeah. It's like <laughs> they they never go, gonna buff affinity breaker. They're like, yeah, forget about that. <laughs> but you know, they sell these things, so <laughs> you, you bet they're gonna buff <laughs> them quickly if they don't sell them. Yeah. True. <laughs> All right. So that's interesting. If I had to lock you down right now and I said, Smiley, 
for the next year, you've got whatever two hundred and forty dollars to spend on the game, twenty euro a month. You would lock in right now. What are you doing with that? Exactly. Oh wow. So because now you could think of it in a different aspect, right? Okay. You could yeah. say I can save up all these, mm-hmm. all that money, and go towards certain packs that I see. Let's say like uh, Thanksgiving the or the the Black Friday deals oh, yeah. or the Christmas deals. Something along those lines, right? Yeah, so, that's, that's a really good point. Christmas deals. That's a really good point as well. How, you said, uh, we were talking about that before stream, and I already forgot. I, I'm very forgetful. <laughs> but in terms of broadly speaking, because this is really relevant right now, a time of recording, because these are coming up, right? It's end of November for Thanksgiving, I think. And then obviously end of December for Christmas. Like how good do those particular deals tend to be compared to the typical stuff that is so like are they similar to the quality of like a daily gem pack or are they they still fall short of that typically i i don't think anything really comes close to the quality of the daily gem pack mm-hmm. like you could argue maybe there's one or two out there in the past where it was just an insane offer that basically the sacred shards in there was basically like a bonus gimme yeah. but it's very very rare now yeah. when it comes to the christmas deals this is this is one aspect i guess a lot of people have to think about when mm-hmm. you see these Christmas deals, when you see these Thanksgiving deals, and you're not a spender, when you when these deals do pop up, they're gonna be very very low price pack offers. They're not gonna be something that, let's say, like you're thinking, I could save two hundred dollars for the entire year, not buy anything, and then save it towards the Christmas deals. Mm-hmm. When that deal comes around, because you weren't spending it all, you're not gonna really gonna get much to buy as far as like what you want to spend because the the deals are gonna be a lot smaller in quantity and also in the pricing. Yeah, so like, I've I've got the small versions at the moment because I haven't spent since I bought the daily gem pack, but I had yeah. the bigger versions before because I had bought stuff. So they just changed like within the last week for me. I think they went all the way down. That's very telling. The three the three forty nine <laughs> euro is yeah. definitely I haven't I haven't spent in almost a month. Basically, that's what it tells me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The warrior circle is coming around, boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming, but. <laughs> but going going back to your question though, so that yeah. is that is something to um, think about as far as like you could save up a lot of money towards those hmm. those holiday deals, but they're not gonna be you're not gonna blow two hundred dollars in that uh, that you saved up for that that deal because it's not gonna be that expensive. That's true. But I think the best way to approach it is if you have a twenty dollar. So if you're asking me, right? Because you yeah. that was the question you asked initially. Yeah, twenty dollars a month. Um, I think I would stick by what I said. Ten dollars mm-hmm. for the daily jump pack, ten dollars for the warrior circles pack every month, right? Mm-hmm. And then when there's a force pass, I have to. I honestly, I think I would go for the force pass for that month, and then just not buy the daily jump pack and warrior circles pack because, like okay. you said, these set pieces might not come. You know, they don't come around too often, and again, they might be buffed in the future or really, really be useful at some point. Like the bolster set, uh, really, really good in arena, by the way. Mm. Um, really uh it's it's you have to weigh your options but when we come around to the thanksgiving and christmas deals <laughs> that's another area where you could say okay is that what is what appears in the shop better than what i could get from the value of the daily gem pack so maybe mm. you could buy ten dollars for the daily gem pack then skip out on the word circles pack, pack and then maybe the christmas deal is better than what the word circles pack offers so you just have to like rotate around and see what's available yeah 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 interesting stuff all right and i will say guys stay tuned check out i'm sure smiley you're gonna have lots of videos and and posts and everything about the specific packs because i think certainly we saw with the halloween packs i don't know if there's any left in the shop but they did a really interesting thing where they had like the shining light and then the darkest i don't know dark darkest dankness i don't know whatever it was (laughs) uh where it was like they had a you know a good version of the pack and then the next day they come out with a really good version of the pack so um yeah <laughs> that can yeah. It, it's like it, it's hard to tell like although we can certainly say generally speaking like the the christmas deals the, the thanksgiving the black friday stuff are generally really good you could have potentially like 10 different pack offers within that period of time that range from being like quite good to actually these are like incredible like this is the best deal this year outside of this stuff all right um what, one more thing I do want to add, though, is yeah. if I'm being completely honest, so the mm-hmm. Black Friday deals are usually always great. Yeah. But as from what I remember, this re- most recent Black Friday deal, mm-hmm. it was actually slightly worse than last year's Black Friday deals. Okay. But it was still pretty solid nonetheless. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. 
I guess we could go, will we go through the 50 euro month like a bit more quickly because I think we could kind of, yeah. you could kind of stretch this up. In fact, we could probably just say you're still going to get, I put, I just copy pasted the daily gem pack across. <laughs> I figure that's going to be something you're almost definitely going to want to get. The forge pass is still a contender. Probably if you're, and then the, if warrior, you, the warrior circle, and then you, could, you could maybe squeeze yeah. in. It's going to be maybe a difficult, Definitely. it could be difficult to squeeze in, but if it does come up, like if you, if you are going to, spend 100 euro a month it might be you know when in terms of when packs are popping up and stuff you might not see the warrior circle but if you did see it it's obviously a thing to buy um but yeah let, let's make, do you want to jump ahead to 100 a month sorry do you have something to yeah, throw in <laughs> so i get i guess like for the 50 a month we did pretty much cover most of it and there's one more pack offer in that fifty dollars you could consider going for, which would be the monthly twenty nine ninety nine pack that oh. most people would see if you're not a spender. Yeah, yeah, monthly pack, of course. Because if you are a spender, that's forty nine ninety nine. But that pack okay. in general is 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 really solid. Mm -hmm. And but that that would be the one that offers the voice shards, the sacred shard, the uh, that be no 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 no. Oh, here no. it is. Sorry, yeah, there we yeah, go. there it is. Yeah, so it comes with a bit of everything. Mm -hmm. So. That is another pack offer you can consider throwing into that bunch and yeah. weigh your options and see if this is if this is what you want to go for at the time. Maybe you want more voice shards and that's something you consider, or maybe you want more mm. secret shards because that, that's something you consider. So yeah. Okay, cool. Monthly pack, another one to consider. Let's go. Let's let's go a completely different hack then. So this is sort of like your low spend and definitely more early game. Let's imagine someone that is later in the game. Or like you're just a bigger spender, you're going to progress to the game faster. How does stuff change then? And and also, I want to pick your brains in terms of stuff like, would you switch into like buying void charts? What about soul stones and all that sort of stuff? How how do things change? I say bigger budget, bigger player, bigger gamer. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like eventually you're going to get to a point where you don't need chickens anymore because you just mm -hmm. you 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 have so many of them. And you're going to get to a point where you don't really need epic books. You're going to get to a point where you don't really. Well, actually, everybody always needs silver, right? Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So silver is uh, definitely a must. But um, <laughs> as far as silver packs goes, guys, this is one thing I want to throw in: do not buy silver packs. They're always okay. garbage. Just, just use energy towards spider. There you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So um, as far as like the, uh, I guess like the transitioning phase. Mm. Yeah. Like I said, you're going to be getting to a point where you want to focus more on i don't know it depends on maybe you want to focus more on arena maybe you want to focus more on um going for world records for pve content i don't know mm -hmm. but like the voice shards is usually like i guess like if i'm speaking for myself voice shards is what i'm really into and that's all i care about so me personally even though when i grade these pack offers i try to give a general view and i try to be as unbiased as i can i look at a pack offer and if i see chickens for me personally, it's zero dollars. If I see books, okay. zero dollars. If mm. I see, if I see ancient stars and secrets, interesting, but it it won't really move me much unless it's like a crazy deal. But voice shards is all I care about, and soul stones is all I care about right now because that is what's going to give me that extra advantage for the end game platinum, like those you know plus empowerment champions. Soul stones is like the soul stones is is such a such a huge game changer for people that want to progress. Um, like getting that extra boost of stats from two stars on champions is so huge on your nukers and if you can hit if you can hit a, a, a you know jackpot then you know that's that's great too <laughs> yes. i i actually i actually did hit a jackpot i don't know if you saw it did, you, did you see my jackpot by the way Nub? i'm not sure what it, what was it again so when when this uh, soul stone the whole thing dropped on like mm -hmm. i think it was a second day oh i i pulled a were you with duchess a, yes oh i do remember was, that oh it was, it was a six star duchess i'd repressed that horrible memory <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah wow. huge absolutely huge but yeah i mean you can you can really hit jackpot at times and that was off a of mortal still stone so i i yeah. just i couldn't believe it but <laughs> i think eventually like mm. even for me right now um now i'm getting to the point where i was i'm so ashamed to say this okay all right mm. okay i I pretty much bought every single Soulstone pack available because I was just I wanted to I, I'm comp I, like when it comes to arena I try to compete for the highest like the finishes and reset and it's mm -hmm. like any extra advantage I can get I try to go for it but mm -hmm. like while I'm ashamed to say that because I I, I hate that uh, I hate to admit that I'm a spender and how like, I know, that's why I never tell people how much I spend on the game because it's, I'm, I'm ashamed all right simple <laughs> as that <laughs> but 
I, I've pretty much gotten to a point where I don't need to buy soul stones anymore okay. other than the fact that I, I pretty much have everything I want. But the problem mm. is now I just need to focus on the market that appears um, for particular champions where I can get a higher star. Yeah. Uh, nukers, I just want two stars and four stars. I don't really need the six stars for nukers. Like two stars mm -hmm. is, is good enough for me. But the the really core champions that like a Duchess or Necrid or um, you know something like that, that's what would be more interesting for a six star. But mm -hmm. that's kind of something you could work towards as well. If you want more accuracy boost for your your Kaimar or your Yumiko, then four stars would be another bonus. But again, I'm at the point where I don't really need to purchase soul stones anymore because there's a drop off and voice shards. Now we're back to the voice shards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so voice shards is until I guess like until I want I have like plus four empowerment on most of my champions. Voice shards is always going to be something really interesting for me for mm. my core champions. But the problem is. It's 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 like just two champions or three champions that I really really want the plus four on now. Yeah. And the odds of hitting those are just it's so hard, right? Yeah. Yeah. And hundred percent. Yeah. I, I as you saw my voice chart count earlier, I it's, <laughs> yeah. it's a ridiculous amount that I saved up, but <laughs> this kind of like my last hurrah at voice shards. Like I'm gonna mm -hmm. I'm gonna become a relatively lower spender, much of a lower spender than like in the coming uh, weeks or a month. Mm. So it's. Yeah, there's there's a really big up and down when it comes to transitioning on what you want to spend yeah. depending on where you are in the game. Yeah, that's that's interesting with the void charts. So like void charts are like for late game, they seem to be a really top quality investment. Obviously, if you buy the good packs, like I think uh, the void string packs tend to be pretty good, and any mm -hmm. of those, uh, like probably again around you know the Christmas and Thanksgiving, right? Shards are probably their biggest selling thing, so there's going to be big deals for those on big events. Uh, but they seem to be like a really good investment just pretty much always void shards like until until you're really far in and you've got a bunch of empowerment it's like if you're spending on this it's gonna potentially really boost your account right yeah and i do want to emphasize what you said as if you're a late game to end game player then the mm. void shards are going to be really impactful but if you are a lower spender or mid you know if you are like lower to Free to, like if you're low spender to mid spender and if mm. you're early into mid game then voice shards might not be the best value for you because progression is like i think that's really important right yeah so maybe and like chickens is more imp immediate impact while you could you mm -hmm. could say that you can get it done, done over time without the chickens but if you're just trying to progress quicker then chickens books are going to help you progress a lot faster in that stage but yeah. you mm. are going to get to a point where you have like most of your champions you you don't really need um you don't really need to focus on like leveling. You don't need to focus on booking per se. You can just focus on the core champions you have or the ones you want to pull, which are like the meta champions you're trying to go for. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> like you, like there's there's people that are still going for a lot of ancient uh, shard and sacred shard champions too, mm. because there's I mean there's a lot of meta champions in there too, right? Oh yeah. The problem yeah. is when it comes to 10x events, it's so much harder to pull those champions versus like voice shard 10x events <laughs> where the pull is a lot smaller, right? Yeah. Even though that's still pretty hard itself, but. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. I wonder what would we say would be roughly speaking this cutoff point? So you're saying like, imagine it is just, just a spender. Let's say I'm three months into the game. I love the game. This is like the game I've been waiting for. I'm spending a hundred a month. We're saying that's earlier in the game for, for that person, the void shards maybe not the best way to spend, whereas the chickens, books, ancient sacreds like building up that is better do you think so so i would definitely remove that sacred shard because sacred shard sacred is shard. not the best no it's not the best value unless okay. it's going for like <laughs> a really really cheap offer then i would say yes but mm. yeah chickens books ancients i think those are more okay impactful for an early game player because cool. there's there's just so much you can do with that as an early game like progression wise mm -hmm. that may be the i guess it depends like it's hard to hard to judge right if you're spending 100 a month how how soon would you progress through but maybe for the first year or something, maybe less. I don't even know. But yeah. you'll you'll reach a point where it's like you've got enough of these champions, you're building up enough, and that's when it switches. This stuff becomes not really worth it at that point, and then void shards kind of come into their own. And then yeah, yeah. Then soul stones. What would you think about soul stones? Like I'm coming into the game. I'm a few months in. I'm spending a hundred euro a month. There, there's these new soul stone things, but smiley, Stay away. they're new. They're shiny. <laughs> <laughs> they're so hard to get i shouldn't buy yeah. them no i i don't <laughs> think soul stones I, I was like for anybody that's like earlier into the game 
Okay. I would stay away from soul stones and just just try to like farm the the, the iron twins and do just you know get what you can from there. Mm -hmm. It's 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 so expensive because yeah. the value that you get from soul stones versus like pulling the actual champion, mm -hmm. like soul stone is more of an end game luxury. Yeah, it's it's not really something that an early game can. Unless you pull like, unless you hit jackpot with a particular champion that you have, right? <laughs> yeah, but the chances. It's, it's just, yeah, I I would stay away from soul stones as an early game player. It's yeah. not it's not really that important. It's interesting. I know definitely from like later game players, like people that have been playing for let's say if you've been playing for three years, I know for a lot of people like that, they're going actually. You know, for me, buying the soul stones actually probably makes more sense than buying these shards now because i have so many of the champions but i don't have any of them in power or awakened so it, at this point for them it is something that's worth doing but those are players that are very very far into the game so it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's sort of feel it feels to me as roughly a sort of a three-step progression of like the early game stuff then you go through your like your void phase and then there's probably a soul stone phase there as well but i don't know i just i yeah. like to, to break it down like that but you guys you guys I, get a I rough like gist <laughs> Yeah, and, and and guys, there's there's no perfect answer, right? It's, yeah. it's everything is based off of what you have already, your progression, mm -hmm. and you just you have to work with what you have available, right? So, yeah. um, you have to ultimately you have to determine what you need for your account and what is going to help you progress faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you? What, we haven't really touched on gear packs and stuff like that. What do we think about gear packs? Uh, in there. <laughs> <laughs> they're very expensive of course very 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 expensive like yeah I, I it's it's such a touchy subject when it comes to gear packs and i mm. there's a reason why i don't really rate gear packs on my channel because yeah. it's you can <laughs> it's, it's such a thin line you're you can cross right it's it's so it's yeah. so scary like i don't want to say <laughs> buy this and you could, you could spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars and throw literally all that down the drain for like two million silver you know what i mean yeah 100%. it's just it's, it's scary it's really scary yeah very true okay we won't even recommend them that's for <laughs> that's for the the 500 a month <laughs> category yeah, yeah that's another yeah. category entirely but yeah there we go well, guys smiley thank you so much for joining me here today uh yeah, it was an absolute blast i hope the viewers i hope you guys enjoyed that too seeing the breakdown do you want to throw anything in here at the end any last points about this stuff before we wrap it up <laughs> um no i i appreciate you having me on it's a blast and yeah i really uh, it was a lot of fun i enjoyed the talk yeah so we all know now that you want to spend your gems on the silver in the bank. That is the best. No, that's not. It's the worst. Don't do it. It's a joke. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, no. But yeah, thanks, Smiley, for coming on. And guys, make sure to check out Smiley's channel down below. Uh, subscribe. Give him a like. We did a video over there as well, uh, which was just talking about uh, some of our favorite epics, game-changing epics in the game. So you can go check that out too. Uh, it was a nice short video, so you'll enjoy that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much. And hopefully we'll collab again soon. So there we go. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.